Hello everybody, today I'm going to discuss the perfume Galloway by Parfums de Marly and I'm going to also uh, offer two different alternatives to Galloway which are in my opinion uh, better alternatives to Galloway. If you're not familiar, uh, this perfume Galloway uh, by Parfums de Marly is a very uh, black peppery perfume. Uh, I think there's orange blossom, uh, maybe some sort of citrus in there. Uh, the way I interpret it though is it's um, certainly a lot of black pepper, but then there is like a cosmetic lotion-y kind of uh, note. It's not listed, but that's how I experience it. Um, it might be the orange blossom. Uh, so it's like a combination of a spicy black pepper, very pungent, combined with this uh, irisy, orange blossomy, lotion kind of creamy note. Uh, it's very nice. It's very clean uh, and exhilarating. Uh, however, I think that I have two better choices. The first would be, not a surprise, but Lalique White. And if you go on Fragrantica or watch video reviews on YouTube, you'll hear people mention Lalique White a bunch of times because it does smell a lot like Encre Noir. Or <laughs> it does smell a lot like Galloway. I have Encre Noir sport on my mind. I think that's why I said that. Um, yes, so I have strips of each perfume. And I would say that Lalique White, what separates it from Galloway is that it has this tamarind note, which is like a tart kind of citrusy note. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had tamarind candy. You can sometimes find it in the uh, Mexican section of uh, your grocery store. And uh, it's this very uh, resinous and sticky paste. And um, it's made from the tamarind fruit, obviously, but it's very sour and tart. Um, and in this perfume, it kind of comes across uh, a bit citrusy as well. So. I would say that Lalique White here uh, is the fresher, more, um, even more exhilarating than um, Parfums de Marly. Parfums de Marly, Galloway, is a bit more serious and cold because of that, um, imagine like a cold cream that you pull out of the uh, refrigerator back in the day. Um, and it's fragranced with a little bit of orange blossom and this kind of powdery, um, cold iris, um, with that black pepper. So it is a little bit more serious, whereas Lily White, to me, is more fun, exciting, and, uh, zesty and exhilarating. I also find that Lily White has, uh, superior performance over Galloway. Uh, Lalique White lasts for me um, over seven hours oftentimes with um, decent projection and sillage. Uh, people really like Lalique White. I think it's a very uh, satisfying uh, perfume. Unless a person hates black pepper, I think that Lalique White is excellent. The second option that I have for you is a bit unknown and it's very underrated, that would be 1903 by the J. Peterman Company. If you're unfamiliar, uh, the J. Peterman Company is, uh, from my understanding, it's like a magazine subscription, and what separates them from other companies is that uh, instead of having photographic images of uh, the fashion that they are selling in their magazine. They sell fashion and accessories. They have, um, it's all hand
and Illustrated. So it's kind of interesting. You should look them up online. Um, anyhow, I tried this perfume probably like 10 years ago, and uh, I immediately found it to be a very peppery perfume. If you go on Fragrantica, I'm going to scoot on there for a second right now. Pepper is not listed as a note. It has labdanum, citrus, sage, tobacco. Um, those are the primary notes um, listed. And it might be the tobacco that I'm pick, um, picking up as the pepper, but it is like a very aromatic, um, I think it's classified as an aromatic fougere. Uh, Fragrantica says woody aromatic, but it's like gives you that fougere aromatic vibe. And I swear to God, there is somewhat of a um, pepperiness in it. Not as much as Lalique White and not as much as Galloway, but there just seems to be somewhat of an essence of black pepper in it. I would say this to me is the smoothest out of the three. This is the most, um, maybe I'll say this is the most refined. It's so smooth. It's not creamy to me, but it's just very smooth and self-assured. Um, not as self-consciously serious compared to, uh, Galloway. It's, um, uh, a bit like old school without being too obviously old school. Um, I think if you wear this, it wouldn't register as um, an old fashioned kind of uh, scent that you're wearing uh, the way, you know, something like Chanel Pour Monsieur or, um, you know, those other fragrances. Um, even though it does carry some of that like fougere um, retro vibes. Do you know what I mean? Um, so this is amazing and it's very inexpensive as well. I don't have the exact price, but it is, uh, I think you could get a bottle under $60 and this is 3.4 milliliters, maybe even more. Um, so very beautiful, smooth, elegant, um, on the traditionally masculine, uh, side of things. But I know a few women who enjoy wearing this a lot. That's, 1903 by the Jay Peterman Company. Again, we have Lalique White. And then this is my little decant of Galloway. So creamy, lotiony, um, the most black pepper, the most zesty the most citrusy, the most bright. Um, and then uh, these are both pretty good performers. So I guess I'll say that they're tied for performance. Um, and then this is the most refined, uh, elegant and smooth, but it has the least amount of obvious black pepper in it. So these are my superior alternatives to Galloway. It's a very expensive perfume, so I might not have bothered if it was reasonably priced, but Parfums de Marley fragrances are so expensive. You could get it on the gray market, but it's still going to be probably 150 to um, $200 for a bottle. And the performance to me is kind of lacking honestly. So I think these options are way better and they're so much cheaper. Um, I think I said that already, but yes. If you've tried these perfumes, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you disagree with me, if you agree with me, um, I don't think you could disagree with me. I think they're wonderful. Um, they're wonderful options. So have a great rest of your day and goodbye.